Hello world, Shelly here, and it's time for your Friday Foundation Fix, where you can get your fix of foundation reviews in between foundation fests. Today I'm going to check out the new release from Wet n Wild. This is the Photo Focus a Dewy version of their foundation. Retails for $6.49 for 0.95 ounces of product. That makes it closer to a $7 per ounce foundation. Ulta's got 14 different shades. They describe this as the newest innovation to the cult favorite Weightless, super nourishing foundation that delivers natural all-day wear. Silky and creamy, coverage is easily buildable from medium to full. Easily transitions from day to night, all-day wear, ideal for normal to dry skin types. A moisturizing formula blends seamlessly, blurs imperfections, and helps minimize the appearance of pores for a perfectly smooth, dewy finish. This is cruelty-free. Unless you don't agree, based on the little hiccup Wet n' Wild had with uh, not being completely truthful about where they sell in China. But they claim cruelty-free, gluten-free, talc-free, and vegan. The ingredients, it looks like a silicone-based foundation. I will note toward the end of the list of ingredients, there is added fragrance. And one of the very last ingredients is castor oil, so it is not an oil-free formula. Let's take a look at the shades I've got, which are Rose Ivory and Shell Ivory, swatched against a few others in my collection. Here we go, on Fridays we swatch. First up is today's foundation, the Photo Focus from Wet n Wild in the Dewy formula. The first swatch is Rose Ivory in Dewy. The second swatch is the original Photo Focus in Rose Ivory. The third swatch is the Dewy Photo Focus in Shell Ivory, and the fourth swatch is the original Photo Focus in Shell Ivory. Fifth, I've got the CYO Life Proof in 101. Sixth is the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Hydrate in shade F3. And last, I've got the Milani Conceal and Perfect in shade 00A. I've already cleansed, moisturized, and sunscreened this 45-year-old face. We are looking to cover up my sun damage, cover up and blur these pores. I do have some texture between my eyebrows, some texture on the side of my face. Foundation likes to settle into all my lines. So I have already primed. Wet n Wild has a new primer out as well, the Prime Focus Primer Serum. I got the hydrating version, so I have used that. It's a very liquidy, water-based primer, but it does dry down and give you a bit of grip. Now, I found an interesting way that they phrased the sort of marketing on the package here. It says it nourishes and preps and primes skin for extended makeup wear. Using... I just, when I first read it, I thought that doesn't really say that this extends the wear of your makeup. This kind of says it preps your skin if you're going to wear makeup for an extended amount of time. So I don't know. I'm, we'll see if it, if it has any impact on the wear of the foundation. Generally speaking, these types of serums in my experience do not extend the wear of foundation. So but it feels really nice and very hydrating and it does give you a little bit of grip and I like a grippy primer. Now I'm going to use the shade Rose Ivory which is described as fair, nope, light cool, whereas Shell Ivory is described as fair neutral. And these are almost identical looking, well you've seen the swatches at this point, but to the original photo focus. So here's the rose ivory in both of them. I would say of the four pale shades, these are technically like the third and fourth lightest shades, but all four of these are very similar in lightness to darkness. They just change in the undertone in from what I can see. So that is my opinion there. I'm going to go with the more cool undertone of the two. Let's see if they have the same paddle foot Yes, they do. It's the same packaging as the original. I will go in on one side of my face with a sponge. This is a dampened Eco Tools Total Perfecting Blender in the Holiday Edition. The other side I will use an e.l.f. Ultimate Blending Brush. We'll see if there is a preference one way or the other. I just noticed... Is that, oh, yep, it's broken. The glass 
of that's the glass top of this foundation. I just opened this for the first time straight from uh, Ulta. Ordered it online. Here we go. Broken. Well, I don't think I'm going to put that on my face because there could be glass in there. There's glass all over my hand now. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, change of plans. I'm going to wear shell ivory today, which I already know from the other formula is a little too light for me and I prefer a cool undertone in the winter time, but here we go. Not super liquidy. This blends out nicely with a sponge right out of the gate. There is no doubt that this is a dewy finish. It is clearly that luminous kind of glow to the skin. I'd say we're getting high light coverage with the sponge on one pass. Really nice cancellation of redness. Most sunspots are starting to disappear. Maybe even low medium coverage at one pass. Let's try the brush side. This also blends very easily with the brush. You can use a lot less product with the brush because the sponge seems to soak up a bit of product. The brush does not. So I am getting a lot farther with less product with the brush. In fact, I think I'm gonna tap out my brush side with the sponge just to get rid of any excess because I had a little bit too much going on. This is a very pretty finish to start out with, I would say. It is luminous without being shiny. It's not too dewy. It is clinging just a little bit to some dry skin. Let's take a look up close. I think with one pass, really we're getting close to medium coverage, which is nice, but around my chin and around my upper lip and my nostrils and the sides of my nose, it is clinging just a little bit to some dry skin that I've got there. It's also clinging just a little bit to the texture between my eyebrows. Every place else it looks pretty nice. I would say we're getting a mild blurring of pores. We're getting a mild blurring of texture overall and generally it looks nice. It just it's not liking those areas where I have skin that is pretty close to needing to be exfoliated away which is like right there and like right on my upper lip. So overall, I think very pretty finish, but clinging just a little bit to dry skin. Let's check the time. It is 1224. I'm gonna go put the rest of my face on. I'll be right back. Okay, no major issues to report. Still clinging a tiny bit to the areas of skin that are just about you know, ready to flake. But other than that, I really enjoy the finish. I only set my cheek area and the perimeter of my forehead with my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish because it stayed a little bit tacky. I didn't want to have trouble blending and everything else from that point on was just fine. I want to tell you something. What was I going to tell you? Well, let me tell you guys what's on the rest of my face. Uh, Revolution Ultra Bronze is my bronzer. Elf Ultimate, that's not Ultimate Blending Brush. <laughs> this is the Primer Infused Blush in Always Rosy. And for highlight, I dug this out of the back of my drawer. I had forgotten about it. I found it again. I don't think you guys can buy it anymore. Maybe you can. I'll have to check. If you can still get it on the Wet n Wild website, I will let you know. But it is the Zodiac Air Highlight. Oh, it's so pretty. It's like one of my absolute favorites of all time. It was limited edition, but I made a little discovery as well. Oh, I was that's what I was going to tell you. I'm really digging the heck out of the CoverGirl Exhibitionist Lash Primer and this new CoverGirl Exhibitionist Uncensored, which I am definitely going to do a video putting this side by side with the Charlotte Tilbury Legendary Lashes because I think they're very similar. And speaking of Charlotte Tilbury, I decided to wear today the Physician's Formula Rose Kiss All Day Velvet Formula in the shade Pillow Talk. And I was curious if they were trying to dupe out the color of the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk lipstick. As an experiment, I did half of my lips in Physician's Formula and half of my lips in Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. 
What do you think? Here's the swatches side by side. This one is Charlotte Tilbury. This one is Physician's Formula. I think that's what they were going for. Not too subtle, naming them the same exact thing. So that is where we are starting out. I will be back in a bit, 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 back in a bit with a daylight check-in. And I will come back at the end of the night, give you guys my final thoughts. Hey guys, we're about three hours in. I am digging the finish of this foundation. It's just right. It's just, just enough glow, but just enough not shiny. I think it's, it's pretty pretty. <laughs> Color match, I think it's actually okay. Especially right around here. I thought it was going to be too light for me, but actually, if you compare it to, like, my real... <laughs> Whoa. Yikes. <laughs> I'm ghostly. There we go. As close up as I can. Looking good so far. I feel like it looks A-OK. -okay. Happy day. I'll be back tonight. We will wrap this one up. 8 o'clock p.m. You see my friend Steve here. Let's take a look at how the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Dewy version held up. First off, let's talk about how it feels, how it wears. Super lightweight feeling. Doesn't feel like makeup really at all. It feels very nice, very comfortable. I would call it slightly hydrating. It has kept up with the dryness and dehydration of my skin throughout the day. I don't feel dry at all. I think that is a wonderful thing if you've got dry skin. There's nothing worse than getting to the end of the day and just wanting to tear your face off because your foundation has dried you out so much that it gets all itchy and crazy. So nothing bad to report in that category, <laughs> Ziva. Oh my God. Well, you know, she's you wanted to see her. You got she doesn't sit up there anymore, but here here she is. I don't I don't know what she's doing, but okay. Okay. Let's zoom in and take a look at how it wore. So I've I've lost coverage in the usual places. It's sort of my chin is a little bit of, of redness showing through around my nostrils and my nose. It's starting to lose coverage. It is just starting to break up a little bit around movement lines. So the lines around my mouth, it's breaking up. It didn't settle into my my fine lines, like my smile lines or my forehead lines. It settled a tiny bit into my deeper chin line. Blush bronzer highlights still appear to be fully intact. It does not seem to have had any trouble with uh, texture or... Pores, I think they still look slightly smoothed, which is nice. My forehead, I think, looks fine. Really not much has changed there. I really enjoy the finish of this foundation. I think it is very, very pretty. Now, we are only at approximately the eight-hour mark, you know, going on the eight-hour mark, so wear time, not super great. It is starting to break down right around now. I think at a conversational distance, you really can't tell, but up close, you can see that the product is starting to break apart. Now, I went back into my notes to look at my original review of the original version of the Photo Focus, which I wore a lot when it first came out. I really did enjoy that foundation. So its original grade was an 84, like B minus range, and it was almost an identical review. It, the differences were that the original foundation was a matte finish and I felt that the formula was slightly drying on my skin, so not so great for dry skin, but it had the same sort of symptoms. It wore for about eight hours before it started to break down a little bit. Uh, I didn't like the finish quite as much, but I was in a matte finish phase at that point in time. Uh, but I think the difference between that and this is that the dewy finish really has a much better chance of being flattering on maturing skin because it just looks a little bit more plumped and youthful where I think a matte finish can accentuate lines and accentuate dryness and accentuate wrinkles and this really doesn't and that I think is a really good thing so I think this actually 
is going to score a little bit higher than the previous or the original, shall we say, Photofocus Foundation. Uh, I think they did a great job at consistency of shades. They use the same shade names and the shades look almost identical. In fact, these two that I have look pretty doggone identical. I wish I could have tried Rose Ivory because that's my preferred shade. Although after today, I think maybe this is my better shade. I don't know. I, I think this one worked out pretty well for me. So... If I had to give a grade to the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Dewy Foundation, you know what, especially at this price point, and I don't take the price into account in my grading, but you have to say that at this price point, a great wearing foundation that is really, really pretty is, is a pretty spectacular accomplishment. And the fact that they fixed the problem with it smelling like paint thinner I'm going to go A minus. I was kind of waffling between a B plus and an A minus. I'm going to give it the A minus because I feel like they took the things that people were concerned about in the previous formula, particularly the paint thinner smell, got rid of it for the most part. And if you've got dry and maturing skin, I think this one's going to work a bit better than the original formula for you would be my guess if I had to take a guess. So let's go A minus. I'm happy with this one. Bravo, Wet n Wild. No bravo to Ulta for breaking my foundation. You know, it's their packaging. They put things in a box and stuff's flying around the box and banging against... It's really... Their shipping has gone way downhill too, I just want to say. I used to get all of my Ulta orders within three days and now sometimes it's two weeks. I haven't moved. The locations where my products are coming from haven't moved like... Well, okay, now I'm getting off on a tangent. Let's go back to being happy and celebrate the A- from the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Dewey. There you have it. Another Friday foundation fix is in the books. What foundations would you guys like to see next? Let me know in the comments down below. I keep a running list. I buy new foundations every time I can. I have a ton of foundations to catch up on as well. I've got lots and lots of stuff to review for you guys. Let me know. Thanks a lot for taking some time out of your day to geek out over makeup with me. Come back every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 9 p.m. Eastern time for new videos. Thumbs up if you liked this one. Subscribe if you haven't already. I appreciate your time, and I hope you guys all have an awesome day or night wherever you are in the world. Take care of each other. Bye-bye.